Chongqing Shuangbao Grand Bridge. Chongqing is the central city in southwestern China. It opens up roads and bridges over mountains and rivers, breaking through the constraints of nature and reaching Sichuan, which can drive the prosperity of various industries in Sichuan and even southwestern China. As another transportation artery connecting Chongqing and Hunan, the Chongqing-Hunan Double Line Expressway has a total length of 280 kilometers and is divided into the Baping Section, Pengyo Section, and Wudao, Chongqing Section. The bridge tunnel ratio is 80%, with many long tunnels, prominent unfavorable geology, and many high piers and long span bridges. The Shuangbao Grand Bridge, as a key project of the Chongqing Hunan Double Lines Bopping Section, spans two canyons in Wulong District, Daedong River, and Xiaohigu, with a W shaped valley terrain. Karst geology, tedious processes, ultra high precision, and complex organizational systems pose multiple difficulties, making construction extremely difficult. As the world's largest double-span continuous arch bridge under construction, the closure of the main arch of the 1620-meter-long Shuangbao Grand Bridge in March this year marked significant progress in the construction of the Chongqing-Hunan Double Line Expressway. Two continuous arch bridges each have a span of 405 meters, setting three world firsts, the world's first double arch span, the world's first independent suspension tower cable suspension span, and the world's first equivalent structure cable suspension weight. The difficulty of the Shu Road is greater than reaching the blue sky, making people listen to this withered face. During the Tang Dynasty, Li Bai lamented the rugged transportation in the Sichuan Chongqing region in his book, Difficulty on the Sichuan Road. Crossing the ages, the construction of the Shuangbao Grand Bridge seems to be a dialogue between time and space with the ancients. Bridge architecture is an outstanding representative and cultural treasure of Chinese architectural art. Throughout ancient and modern bridge architecture, arch structures are not uncommon. From the principle of structural mechanics, an arch bridge is a bridge that uses an arch as the main load-bearing component of the upper structure in a vertical plane. The arched bridge relies on symmetrical curves, and under vertical load, the two end pillars cleverly transform to generate vertical reaction and horizontal thrust. Compared with the same span beam, the horizontal thrust reduces the bending moment. Designing the bridge as an arch can make it more durable. The Shuangbao Grand Bridge has a unique architectural structure, designed based on scientific principles and adopting the form of a double arch bridge. It has a unique shape and exquisite craftsmanship, with a magnificent and magnificent bridge body that complements the green mountains and waters, creating a natural and harmonious atmosphere. The arch bridge has unified the structural mechanics of abstract machinery with the Chinese aesthetics of the long rainbow lying wave. The main arch ribs of Chongqing Shuangbao Rainbow Bridge are not a single piece of material, just like the tracks in high-speed rail construction, they are pieced together in sections. To ensure the installability of the bridge, the main arch ribs are supported by a single steel structure weighing about 210 tons and measuring about 25 meters in length, requiring a total of 72 sections to be assembled. Even so, individual steel structures are still huge. How can they be transported to the project site in rugged and narrow mountainous areas? The project department utilized their intelligence and divided each section of the steel structure into nearly 200 components, which were transported to the vicinity of the site for assembly before being lifted for construction. In the mode of component assembly and steel structure hoisting, the quality of steel structure assembly is crucial, which directly affects the quality and safety of the bridge. In order to reduce assembly errors, three-dimensional laser scanning digital pre-assembly technology has been applied for the first time in the production and installation of steel arch ribs nationwide. The project team of CCCC Second Highway Engineering Company, Limited, in collaboration with Chongqing Jiaotong University, formed a joint development team. They used a 3D laser scanner to collect multi-scale point cloud data on the arch rib structure, generated a refined BIM model for the steel structure, and conducted intelligent digital testing on the size, flatness, appearance points, etc. of the arch rib segments. They then compared and analyzed the data with on-site testing. Simulating intelligent digital assembly in a computer can greatly improve work efficiency. With the support of BIM technology, the project accurately and efficiently completed the assembly of 72 steel components in just 8 months, saving time and achieving an accuracy of 2 mm, far exceeding the design requirement of 5 mm. 
There are no main towers on both sides of the arch bridge of Shuangbao Grand Bridge, so the construction of suspension towers has become the primary challenge faced by the builders of Shuangbao Grand Bridge. The kilometer level cable lifting system independently developed by China Communications Second Highway Engineering Bureau is also a cable car for lifting the main arch ribs. This system has a span of 900 meters, a lifting tower height of 167 meters, and a maximum lifting weight of 210 tons. It is currently the world's largest temporary tower structure with the largest span and the largest lifting weight among similar structures in the world. The terrain on both sides of Shuangbao Grand Bridge is narrow, and the construction site is limited. The designers have innovated their ideas and boldly proposed to install the suspension tower on the south side of Banan on the 8th main pier of Shuangbao Grand Bridge. The suspension tower adopts a structural design of hanging buckle in one, which serves as the tower of the cable suspension, bearing the load of the main cable of the cable suspension, and also serves as the buckle tower during the installation of the main arch rib, bearing the load of the buckle back cable. The frequent strong winds in the valley bring great difficulties to the construction of cable cranes. The arch rib segments are heavy and large in volume, and changes in wind speed and direction in the canyon can have an impact on the lifting work. The project department will divide the suspension tower into segmented components, and then use the tower crane to lift and assemble them, splicing them together like building blocks. This can not only improve efficiency but also reduce safety risks. In order to ensure the smooth progress of the lifting construction, the project team installed a brain, intelligent integrated control system for the cable crane. By integrating the hoist and other equipment into an interconnected hole through the network, the construction data during lifting operations is displayed in real time on the centralized control platform. The entire lifting process can be dynamically synchronized and accurately controlled through a computer. Real-time understanding and control of the operating status of cable cranes. The question arises one after another, how to transport building materials in high mountain canyons. There are two solutions at the builder's desk. One method is to build a transportation road several kilometers long, but if the road is built, it will have an impact on the vegetation growth environment. The second method is to build a temporary air passage, the Daydone Iron Cable Bridge, to transport materials. This not only saves construction facilities, but also protects trees, reduces land acquisition and material transportation costs. The mountainous area where the project is located is densely covered with karst caves. How can we ensure that the 300-meter high iron cable bridge is foolproof? This is difficult for the builders who pave the way through mountains and build bridges when faced with water. The project team anchored 25 anchor cables in three rows on both sides of the mountain, and anchored them 35 meters to firmly anchor the foundation of the iron cable bridge on the canyon. What's even more impressive is that there are no piers or diagonal ropes, and relying solely on four sets of ropes to provide horizontal tension can ensure smooth transportation of vehicles. In terms of load-bearing capacity, the project department is trying to reduce the weight of the bridge deck itself by using lightweight and high-strength materials as bridge deck panels and cables. When a 45-ton construction vehicle passes through a cable-stayed bridge without piers or diagonal braces, it feels like a canyon version of a car walking on a tightrope. Since the establishment of this iron cable bridge, the transportation distance of construction vehicles has been greatly reduced, and the construction period has been shortened. The Shuangbao Grand Bridge is expected to be completed in the first half of next year. With one bridge flying north and south, the natural moat will become open. What a magnificent momentum is this. The technology of bridge construction is constantly evolving, and Chinese road and bridge workers have overcome difficulties and opened a new door for the land of Ba and between high mountains and canyons.